Hello, and welcome back everyone. This is Chaos Mirage. Welcome back to this Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deer Root playthrough. Alright, let's begin. We are right after a battle, I think, involving Felix and his dad. We there we go. I doubt those bandits will stop anytime soon. But at least this village is safe. This village was important to the late king. If we hadn't saved it, I wouldn't have been able to face his majesty. How foolish. Pardon? We were protecting your subjects, not your ego. I don't give a damn as to whether you can bring yourself to face a dead king. I will not tolerate such language from you. I came here to hone my blade and to save innocent people. I suppose if I had died, you would say the same thing you did after Glenn's death. He died like a true knight. I have nothing more to say. I'm going back. I'm sorry you had to see that. He's been that way for four years now. I don't suppose you'd care to hear about it. Tell me. I want to say, um, I don't want to hear. The tragedy of Dusker. Felix's older brother, Glenn. To this day, I'm proud of Glenn. He gave his life to protect Prince Dimitri. If he had abandoned his highness and fled, I don't know that I could have forgiven him. I would have been deeply ashamed. But no one would have been more ashamed than Glenn himself. It was in his nature to be noble and true. As a knight serving the royal family, his duty was to be loyal to the end, even if it meant his life. If he had abandoned that duty and survived the incident, there's no way he could have lived on in peace. Felix can't understand that. He's young and foolish. Of course, I understand his sentiment, to some extent. It all comes down to... Well, a difference of opinion. Uh, leave him be. So that's how you feel about Ignore him. Ignore him, yeah. How fortunate Felix is to have met someone like you. There's nothing as heartening as having someone around who really understands you. He's an odd boy, thick headed in some ways, but he's my son all the same. I'm glad he has you to look after him. Don't like Felix. Uh, still don't like Felix. I think, like, if the can, uh, like, the story goes that Edelgard becomes evil, I think Felix would be someone that joins, like, the Black Eagle and try to kill Dimitri. Like that's how how much I dislike this guy. Uh Constance, sure. Hmm. Yes, these herbs will do, though I know we're short on arcane crystals. I'll make a note to keep some in reserve next time. Um is that everything? A what? Not a what, a who? Meaning you. Now, lie still, please. Um, does have a does this have to happen now? Fair point. A bit of rest to clear my head would be good for the next steps. Let us leave off here, and I shall see you again in the morning. Uh, there's no <laughs> talking out of this, is there? I don't want to be the test subject. <laughs> You're not listening to me. I said I don't want to do it. I'll be famous throughout the known world for it. Uh -oh. Um, why do all this? The prestige it will bring me is necessary to restore my fallen house. Or was your question, why go to so much trouble for a fallen house? Because I am a new vet, as were all my ancestors. And our line has endured too long to end with me. Um, why would it end with you? Oh, yes. You don't know. Well, seeing as you are serving both as my research assistant and test subject, I should explain myself. 
House New Bell was granted its peerage shortly after the establishment of the Empire. For generations, the heads of our house have been scholars of magic. They often enjoyed appointments to esteemed posts within the Empire. However, during the insurrection of the Seven, we cast our lot with the Emperor and were punished for it. We suffered further losses when we were used as a sacrifice to Dagda and Bridget during their attack. My family, including my parents and older brother, died then. The town of Nouvelle is now an ashy. The six great families decreed this to be the end of my house. We have not left now but the name. No title? No subjects? No land? Everything I was to inherit has been taken from me. I see. Alright. So you're like the dude on Dusker. Is an achievement so grand that Lady Aelfar would be forced to recognize it. And then, House Newfell will take its rightful place among the elite class once more. Now I understand. You understand that to collaborate with me towards such a grand purpose is a high honor, don't you? I still don't wanna. I still don't want to. Okay. How many? Not a lot. Alright. Marketplace first. Sell whatever we don't need. Uh, silver sword and keep. Yeah, I can keep all of the sword for now. Uh, the bow is fine too. Uh, Armor Slayer and the Steel Sword. You have two healing items, which I don't know why. Iron Bolt Plus. Yeah, hold on. I, I think you can fix up. It's an Iron Bolt Plus, so I think I want to fix, fix it. Yeah, fix it instead of selling it. Okay, what is this? Don't need it. Uh, all right. Iron sword. Uh, maybe I can fix this sword. I don't. I don't know how to fix it. Keep that. Italian, replenish blacksmith repair yeah I have like 48 of those uh, what are the some of the other things I need to fix Yuri yeah there we go uh, arcane crystal you know what yeah use that Alright, now I'm going to watch the support cutscene right now. We're going to try and do the certification. There we go. Uh, Alright. Please pass. Alright, that's a fail. No, you just suck at uh, being a hero. Uh, done. These are all done. I don't care about any of you. Hold on. Anna, how about you? 100% pass on Bishop. Alright, Um, since you're 100% pass, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to reload the save and then do it. Let's see if the Trickster will pass. Alright, you pass. Okay. So, Anna and Yuri, they both pass. Cool. All I have to do is get uh, get back to Laurens. You already got it. You already got it. Happy? How about you? If I get I can get three of you to pass, that'd be great. 
All right, you pass too. Nice. Okay, so Laurent is the only uh, only one that doesn't pass. Got it. I don't know why, but I keep remembering Gerald using a battle axe. But like, I think Gerald just uses a spear in like all of the all of the battle that involves him. But I have this memory of Gerald using like a giant axe. For some reason, I don't I don't know why. I think my memory is getting messed up. All right, hundred percent, hundred percent bishop. Right, and uh, you will eventually become a uh, yeah this one. So your reason needs to be A or hi higher. So I need I think after your faith gets to like A, uh, uh, I might need to up your reason a little bit. All right, trickster time. I already know that you'll pass, so we don't need to do it again. What's wrong with your pants? Like, I hate the way your pants looks all like bulged up like that. It's, looks so weird. Alright, the Ashen Wolves will will have like their final uh, class. Uh, yeah, that's all of them. So, cool. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I need... How many more events seal do I need? I need you to become a Wyvern Rider if, if it's all possible. So that's one, two, three. So that's like three. I need like th three events seal and... Uh, and uh, maybe I want you to become like... Oh uh, no, no. Yeah, hell though, if you can, if you're, if you get better at writing, I might get you to become a pal paladin. So, like, that's four. Yeah, I don't need five uh, event seals, looks like. Maybe if Ignatz gets, um, master the class of, um, uh, Dark Bishop, I might switch him to be, like, a warlock or something. It's just so he can learn more magic. Oh, he looks awesome as a warlock, too. Okay. Alright. So that's it for the certification. Uh, Laurent is the one, the only one that I want to pass that didn't pass. He looks pretty good on a, as a hero, too. He, I just don't know what to do with him after the, uh, the... After... Um, after the hero. I mean, like, uh, I mean, what do I, what do I, what do I do with him? Mortal Servant? He looks terrible in this weird armor, but, um, I guess it's the only, if I want him to go to the, uh, event, a uh, master class, this is the only one that, that will work. Like, Warmaster, maybe? I don't know. Axe and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Warmaster, like... The events class in this game is uh, is kind of weird. It's very restrictive. All right, I'll deal with that later. All right, start watching. Oh my god! Okay, you have like three. Shut down. While I admire your dedication to research, you simply must take breaks now and again for the sake of your health. I am perfectly capable of knowing when to stop. I know time I'll have you know. Come in. Take just a brief respite. Look, I've even brought snacks to go with the tea. Ooh, that actually looks pretty tasty. All right, all right, fine. Well, what do you think? These are 
were made especially for my house. I've loved them since I was a boy. Oh, jeez. Wow. Actually, this is delicious. You have excellent taste, Lawrence. Have as much as you'd like. For the sake of our friendship, I consider it well worth the investment. I'd like to know more about you, Lysithia. Where did you learn such a command of magic? When you were a child, what kind of... <sighs> Come on. Can't we just enjoy the snacks? I loathe talking about myself. Hoping this is a prerequisite to successful diplomacy. You'll learn that when you take your first real steps into high society. Can you stop with the kid treatment? I mean, really? Is age the only thing you consider when engaging with others? But there's nothing the matter with being young. There is a role to be played at every stage in life. That is how we learn and grow. Are you even listening? Ugh, it's like you can't even help yourself but to continue treating me like a child. I absolutely recognize your raw ability. You possess quite a rare gift for magic. I hope we can find a way for you to use that gift to help as many people as we can. Surely you can agree to that, at least. You really are relentless. I'll spell this out for you once more. I don't care. You're headstrong, just like me. That very quality will ensure a better future for Fodlan. I, sir, am nothing like you. You're bullheaded and boorish, and utterly fixated on the future. All you care about is what's to come. Sure, it's all well and good to be thinking about such lofty things. However, for me, the future's a very long ways off. Better to focus on the present, on the here and now. Thanks for the tea. Bless you. luster on top of what you already possess would be offensively redundant. No one's ever said anything like that to me before. Alas, I am the only one with eyes. But perhaps it is for the best that your beauty not be revealed to all the world. Yes, it is certainly better that only I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, can appreciate your Hellman? magnificence. And on that note, I bid you farewell. Your middle name is Hellman? What? I I really like Laurence. Laurence is like much better character. You're not supposed to like him from the beginning, but he is a much better character than like um uh Felix. Hello, Leone. Busy as usual, I see. Yep, lots to do. Not like you fancy nobles. Hey, can't you see all this stuff I'm carrying? Come on, move over already. Alas, I cannot comply with your request. Can't even ask a noble to take a step to the side, huh? That's a joke, right? You're kidding. You've injured your foot. I could tell immediately by the way you are favoring it. Uh, what? 
Heavy lifting will only worsen the injury. Please, permit me to examine it. Hey, cut that out! Isn't that improper or something, bowing to a commoner? I am not bowing to you. I am tending your wound. That's not what it'll look like. Hey, it's fine. Leave it. Easing the burdens of the common folk is a natural obligation of the nobility. Now hold still and keep quiet for a moment, if you would be so kind. That's a real pretty way to talk about sitting around in castles doing nothing. Let me tell you, everyone in my village is so grateful to be taxed up to the eyeballs for the privilege of a- Ow! Oh, it's quite swollen. And you're feverish. Fortunately, I do have an ointment here that should be of use. What? You just carry that stuff around with you? Certainly. It won't do to be unprepared if I happen across someone in need. I don't get you, Barnes. It seems I've neglected to pack bandages. I'm afraid this handkerchief will have to suffice. What, that fancy thing? Bit of a waste, isn't it? Hey, no thanks. I don't need some noble's pity. What about the help of a friend? I am as much that as I am a noble, if you recall. More of your weird logic. There, that should ease the pain. And since you are recovering, allow me to carry this burden for you as well. There we are. Now, farewell. <sighs> I really don't understand that guy. Oh no, I completely forgot to thank him. Yeah, Lorenz is a Lorenz is a nice character. Before I forgot, I forget.